I'm Lambert Hoganhout, and I oversee the areas of data and AI at the Office for Information and Communications Technology. Now, AI is going to have a lot of impact on society in the coming years and on the UN as well. Especially generative AI has seen a lot of rapid development in the past year and a half. Those are AI models that can both understand human language really well and can also create it. And not only language, also images and even videos these days. So we're helping departments and offices in the UN use generative AI. Often when we do that, we find out that data is really the foundation of such AI systems. So we work with these offices on their data management as well. The UN aims at improving the world. So if the use of AI would make things worse, that really defeats the point. So we have to make sure that the AI we develop is safe and responsible. We've created principles, guidelines, policies, and we continue to create more tools to help people create generative AI applications. Important is also that everybody in the organization understands the basics of AI. And that's why in our Unite Academy program, which is a set of training courses that is open to all staff, we have created courses on AI, both introductory courses and some advanced courses. So with all those guardrails in place, I'm sure that we can develop safe and responsible AI and I really look forward to the applications that we can make with AI for the United Nations.